Hey everybody, welcome to another Thai food tutorial, I mean Thai flow. About a year ago I made this video of how to pour chocolate or any viscous liquid. <clears throat> but today I'm going to teach another method of how to achieve this effect. And it's all about learning Thai flow, right? So let's jump into it. Well, you're gonna need... Wait, do you think it's necessary me to stay in the screen like everybody's doing during the tutorial? Leave a comment so I can do it next time. But for today, I'm gone. For this scene setup, I create a box and then I edit the vertex a little bit and then I smooth it and then our chocolate will start from this plane. Please mind the scale of the things because in Typhlow we're gonna work with physics and the result may vary a lot depending on the scale that you put. Instead of centimeters, create this in let's say millimeters. Anyway, first we're gonna buff surface and select our plane. We're gonna create a particle in each vertex of it, so nothing to change here. Next, add the speed operator and as you can see it starts to move in the vertex around but we don't want it by random we want to move it in my scene in the y-axis but the other direction so magnitude minus 0.5 so now it's going in direction that I planned also we don't want variation we can play with it later on but now it's just going that's perfect. Next we want those particles to fall so we add the force operator and put a gravity minus 0.1 that's fine. Next step shape and you add a geosphere low res works just fine and in my setup doing to experiment like 300 will work fine. To display the geometry, go here so you're gonna see it better. We're gonna put physics shape. And then physics bind. What physics bind will do is to bind each particle to each other. So we need to set up what kind of bind we want. If we leave the default, it will behave like a sheet of paper. Look, looks cool, but it's not what we want for this setup. Therefore, we need to change for joint. It's working better. Just to get to the point, let's put already a physics collision and select our bar. Yeah, it's behaving okay, but it's not still there, so we can change the, the joint. Let's enable movement settings and lower the spring value to 2000 and damping to 1000. Next step is to create a time mesh and let's select our type flow. Our type flow now we can hide as well as our plane. Let's change the setup of time measure. Now it's not looking what we want. 0.5 in absolute radius. Voxel size, we can put 0.2. And in voxel filtering, we put Gaussian. So it smooths out everything. And if it's looking too thick, the next thing that we can do is to put a modifier push and reduce it minus 0.2 for example can add a relax also so basically that's it but I want to show you a little bit thing more of the flow now you can put your shader do whatever you want but in my video you saw kind of a mesh following here maybe that's something that you want then you need to add a spline path 
create physics binding and create new. Click here to see the spline itself. And now you have the spline, like the mesh falling exactly like my video. Don't forget that to render this, you need a mesh operator. And there you go. To make it falling slower, we can create a retimer. Enable simulation retimer. And if I put the speed 30%, you're gonna note something. What? The spline is going the real time and the tie flow now is retimed right it's going slower to fix that you need to click in the spline go in tie spline and it has its own retimer so you enable here and put the same value by speed 30 percent and now it's doing exactly like my video well that's it for today if you have any question, anything, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and see you next one.